So, uh, good day everyone. My name is Hannah. So, today I'm going to talk about how IBM promotes social responsibility goals. So, first, um, let us know how IBM become one of the most uh, largest contributors of cash, equipment, and people to non profit organization and in the educational institution. For IBM to invest in social responsibility activities to its financial detriment would be socially irresponsible given the company's commitment to employees and stockholders. However, social responsibility activities could significantly improve their public image and could be instrumental in generating increased sales and making a decision about how to support society. IBM management should assess the positive and negative outcomes of such support over both the long and short terms and then establish whatever support if any would maximize its success and offer some desirable contribution to society. This information should then be made public to all IBM stakeholders easily facilitated through its website. IBM should strive to maintain a relatively high level of social responsiveness in pursuing its social responsibility activities. For example, IBM might employ its expertise to develop new computer-based educational methods and content aimed specifically at adult learning needs. In terms of implementing an approach to meeting social responsibilities that will increase IBM social responsiveness, management should try to view the company as having both societal and economic goals. Regarding the planning of these activities to meet these goals, management should determine how IBM will achieve its objectives. Management also must be able to turn IBM social responsibility policies into action like making laptops affordable to school ch children thereby facilitating the company's role in promoting education. Finally, management should make sure everyone at IBM is committed to meeting the society social responsibility goals and that management is allocating funds to, to accomplish this and implementing these actions. In addition to planning social responsibility activities at IBM, management must organize, influence, and control them. Management must lead communicate, motivate, and work with group in ways that are appropriate for meeting those social objectives. To control, management must make sure that social responsibility activities occur as planned and possibly conduct a social audit to make such a determination. Assuming that management at IBM is ethical, its decision will focus on enhancing the well-being of all company stakeholders. In essence, management should follow the golden rule. In sum, the overall manage from chairman and CEO Samuel J. Palmisano is clear. IBM strives to be a socially responsible member of the communities in which it does business. So now for the question whether I believe that IBM is responsible for promoting adult education in the communities where it operates. So for me, uh, yes, I believe that uh, International Business Machines Corporations or International Business Machines are responsible in promoting this one since um, since we can see how they create or lead to the creation of innov innovative model of education that obviously connects every school to college and to their careers. So uh, also, um, you will see how they are not just offering new forms of artificial intelligence, 
but um, they also implement principles to guide the education to a fair and society sustainable use of everyone. Now for the question, under what circumstance will the IBM company will be reasonably quick to connect to this? My answer in here is, so um, if it's in a circumstance where in technology or expertise and technology is needed because um, this is where IBM uh, does the best for example um, for example is um, uh, healthcare so since society as IBM's client um, IBM can send their experts worldwide to work on to work on expanding or even improving healthcare healthcare via their technology Giants, um, the Amazon or the Microsoft cloud services.